Welcome back to AgriTalk as we wrap things up today here in San Diego for the Ag Retailers Conference, but we'll be back with more tomorrow. Joining us now is Rex Martin, Head of Industry Affairs for Syngenta, a big part of this conference. And Rex, good to see you again. First of all, I want to say uh, how much I enjoyed being part of the big uh, celebration, the anniversary celebration for CTIC recently that you were a big part of. Well, we really appreciate that, Mike. Uh, we had a great opportunity to look back 30 years with our CTIC group and look in uh, forward uh, to what we need to be doing to, to promote conservation. And part of your involvement here, a big part of Syngenta's involvement here at the Ag Retailers is also looking forward, leadership development. That's right. This year was our first year to do leadership at its best uh, for Ag Retailers Association. Uh, we do this with about eight or nine different commodity groups and associations, and we decided, uh, along with the ARA board, that it's time to build stronger advocates for agriculture with ARA, to, to get that retail voice up on the hill, get them in front of the medium, and, and a little bit uh, get us out of our comfort zone. So we teach them social media, we teach them uh, media training, public speaking, those sorts of things. And really, that has become, to me, uh job one, I think, for agriculture, telling its story, developing those relationships. Otherwise, uh, we've seen what happens when your voice is not heard. You can be uh, pushed aside and forgotten about pretty easily. Even though you're such a vital industry, uh, wow, we've seen what happens when others speak louder or more effectively. No, that's absolutely right. I mean, you look at uh, right now, we don't have a farm bill. Uh, we need to press for a farm bill so we have some stability in the market for next year. So if we're not going to discuss that, if we're not going to get out to the public to talk about that, why that's important to them, I don't think anyone else is. And being able to most effectively communicate agriculture's message to an audience that um, is not educated on the issues or have heard inaccurate information and have already formed some uh, um, some, per some perceptions that, that are hard to overcome at times. No, that's exactly right, Mike. I mean, uh, it is uh, difficult for us to get our message across to the public when they don't even know where their food comes from. So we have to break it down very simply for them and explain that they have the cheapest, most abundant food in the world. And if they want to continue to have that, we need to be a strong advocate and strong supporter of agriculture in the U.S. I also find it frustrating at times, very challenging. We hear about, you know, 7 billion people in the world going to 9 billion. How are we going to feed all these people? And at the same time, we have critics of production agriculture, critics of biotechnology, critics of the very things that would allow us to feed those people. Yeah, it's really amazing because you think about all the science that's involved in bringing a new product to market, a biotech trait, uh, yet you hear all this backlash about people being scared of what we spray, being scared of what's on their food, when, again, we have the safest food supply in the world. And if we want to continue that, uh, it's going to take uh, more good work, like leadership conferences uh, at ARA, and it's also going to take us getting our voice out. But we always need that science in our hip pocket, because we need to be able to show that we are doing things correctly. Had someone asked me just the other day, came up and said, you know, how do you know that these biotech products are not harming us in some way? How do you know that they are really safe? And last time I checked, people are still living longer, and, the, and uh, we have a great variety of food to eat. And, uh, you know, but we do see this in the science. Uh, you can't bring a trait to market without showing that there's no um, adverse effect with your particular trait. Same thing with a crop protection product. We have to be able to prove through studies that these things are safe. And, uh, and we have done that. We will continue to do that because that's what the laws say to do. And yet there are people out there that question the system. They say that there's too much influence by major companies that are producers of the products, uh, that there's not enough due diligence done. How do you respond to that? You know, it's very difficult, and I think you have to define the common denominator. Uh, you start talking about to them what's important to them. They want safe food. They want to know that their children uh, are provided for, their families provided for, and that uh, they have something safe to eat. So then you start walking them down. What do we do to ensure the safety of the food supply? And, uh, but, but again, it, it's not an easy thing to do. It's very difficult because you have to find something very common for the uh, general public to understand. I want to come back to the leadership issue as, as you train people within ag, the ag industry to be able to speak out and communicate. Um, it seems like we had gone through a period of time where the feeling was, why do we have to do this? Because if we're not doing anything wrong, why do we basically have to defend ourselves? Well, you've seen that's put us behind the curve here. Now we're trying to catch up. Oh, that's absolutely right. We cannot, as we've always said, preach to the choir. 
and it's important for us to get outside of our comfort zone. I mean, even just going and talking to your neighbor, you, you can't expect if you are in a rural community that your neighbor understands what you're going to do. So take that first step to reach out. Don't just assume that they understand what you do. And what we are seeing is so many of these decisions that come down that if affect and impact uh, producers, uh, those decisions could be made by someone who doesn't have that information or doesn't have accurate information, and then their decision can very much uh, negatively impact production agriculture. Uh, that's exactly right. When you go into an agency like USDA or EPA, um, many of the people that you're working with uh, at the, uh, the, the lower levels that are looking at the studies probably have no ag background whatsoever. So all they know is what you show them and what the data shows. They have ne maybe never have been on a farm. And so we've got to find opportunities to, to make it real for those folks that are regulating us. You know, when I, I look at biotechnology, I think of this year of, of 2012, the drought year. And as hard as it's been with the lack of water, you still look at how much crop we did produce, and you have to ask, where would, what would we have been able to produce without biotechnology? That, that, that's absolutely right. You look at the drought in 1988 where people did not make a corn crop. You look at the drought this year, yes, yields were reduced significantly, but you had folks that did make a crop. I think a lot of the biotech traits, a lot of the water optimization that people are using uh, are showing that even in a tough year, we can survive and, and make it to the next year. Are we just scratching the surface? I mean, do you think there's a lot more that we can do, still do with biotechnology? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we're going to see so many new traits coming out in the next couple of years. Anything from uh, new types of uh, rootworm control to uh, drought resistance types of products. Uh, you know, we, we certainly are seeing resistance both in insects and herbicides. And so uh, we know that we're going to have to up the ante with our new traits coming out. Here we are in California, a state where voters recently turned down uh, an initiative that would have required labeling of any food product with a biotech ingredient. What was your reaction to that vote? I'll have to admit I was surprised. Uh, we thought that the environmentalists would spend a lot of money. They did spend some money, uh, but they, uh, we ended up fighting a good battle and, and winning that from a very close margin. The unfortunate part is we're going to be fighting that in Oregon. We're going to be fighting that in Washington. We're going to be fighting that in Hawaii where a lot of seed production is. And so we can't let our guard down. And this is probably going to be a, uh, an issue we're going to have to deal with for a number of years. Critics of that uh, result said, well, big industry, companies like yours, went in there and, and pretty much poured enough money in there to, to buy the results. How do you, react, how do you respond to that? Uh, I think we, we told the truth. We, we brought out facts that said, do you want your food uh, production to uh, cost you more? And in this economy, that type of message resonates with the general public. But as you said, that's going to be an ongoing challenge to get that message out. It is. And, and so we have to be more proactive rather than reactive. And uh, so the labeling issue is always going to be there. You, you see in local county ordinances, bans of biotechnology. So we've got to be very diligent. And if we can get our message across to those uh, policymakers early, then maybe we can prevent those things from happening in, a, in an initiative process. Good to see you again, Rex. Thanks. Always good, Mike. Thank you. That's Rex Martin, Head of Industry Affairs for Syngenta here at the Ag Retailers Association Conference going on in San Diego. That wraps it up for today. Tomorrow we'll talk with some of the industry award winners. We're also going to get into some of the outlook for fertilizer supply and demand as we head into 2013. A lot of questions about will the, the supply be there? Will the, what will the price be? You know, Coming off a drought year, people gearing up next year, what will those decisions be like? We'll talk about all that tomorrow. Hope you'll join us right here on AgriTalk, the voice of rural America.